In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change a person's eye color in the GIMP picture editor. So go ahead and open your GIMP, and I'm gonna go go ahead and pull out my eye picture over here. And so with this picture, I'm gonna go ahead and double this um, image up. I'm gonna right click and uh, let's see. I'm gonna add an alpha channel, so that means I'm adding a trans a transparency. And so after that, I'm gonna select the lip select tool and uh, get as um, perfectly as I can matched to this eye over here and I'll just keep uh, it doesn't have to be perfect just try to keep like not, don't try to overshoot or undershoot just try to keep it as close as possible uh, this is okay I mean actually you can overshoot just a little bit because I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some feathering and that should take care of like uh, how awkward it looks if that makes sense so okay so now that I've made this uh, selection before I make the selection actually I'm gonna choose um, feathered edges and I'm gonna change the radius to something like uh, 20 25 um, make it 22 because last time 20 worked for me I'll add 22 alright so I'm gonna hit the enter key okay there you go or you can just click on the image and it uh, automatically makes the selection now that I have the selection go to select and inverse that selection and I'm gonna hit the delete key of on my keyboard and now that's done I'm gonna go ahead and let's see use the eraser tool and by the way if you look closely you can see that there is very a small amount of transparency that it uh, added I guess you could have um, given the size of this image originally I could have added a bit more transparency but the way it is right now is fine now to get rid of this eye um, eyelid over here go ahead and you can blow up the size quite significantly and make sure you choose a, br a soft brush I like to work with uh, this one over here which is which has a hardness of 50 and I'm gonna go ahead and oh before you can actually start deleting make sure you select none now go ahead just go over that eyelid gently just like you can just do it roughly since this is a tutorial I'll just do this um, very quickly like so alright that looks pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and add the um, add this layer back to visibility and it'll look you know it looks the same now if you wanna just change the eye color you go to colors you go to colorize and you, cha you choose whatever uh, looks nice what I do recommend is to make the saturation low so you don't have that like vibrating edge over here see that that white um, edge if you use like a low saturation it's not a, it doesn't like uh, it, it's not as easy to spot if that makes sense so now you can change the colors as you'd like of course if you want the uh, eye to look really bright you increase the saturation I do I mean light you also have the option of lightness but this is like uh, the difference between black and white how much black and white it adds to the image so I don't usually touch the lightness so let's say I want a bright blue like that and there and that's how you do it now if you if these like edges is like um if it's like too much in the way although like from afar you can't really notice but if uh, let's say this is too noticeable you can always um, these, um, go ahead use the ellipse tool and just um, you know increase the radius significantly maybe something like that and just go over it one more time you don't even have to like redo every step just try to get it ex as exact as you need it to like so and I'm gonna this higher and so notice uh, so you can notice that I've uh, increased the uh, feather radius I'm gonna hit enter I'll select inverse and hit the delete key and see that it takes out another uh, a bit more of that um, edge it made this more transparent and this is very um, this helps the image um, on top look more natural yeah like that
that's all there is to it. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any requests, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Bye.